All right, so we're talking about Google Search, right? In Google Search, as I said, the three parts of it that we're going to talk about are indexing, which we've talked about already, querying, which we're going to talk about now, and then results, storage and results, which we'll talk about, um, we'll talk about next time. So indexing, you remember I talked about, was where Google goes out and forms this giant index, not so dissimilar to the index in the back of a book, and allows you to search. Now, now we're going to get to the part where you actually search. And the, the technical word instead of search, we're going to call it querying. And what's a query? Query is simple, just, simply just a question. It's a question that's asked. Um, and you can see in this graph, it's a very interesting graph, and you can see when I created this slideshow. Um, and you can also see from this, from this graph here, it's the graph of, of, of most popular search terms on a particular day. I can't remember what day it is here, and it's too small for me to read at the moment. Um, but what day was this? The day that Steve Jobs died. When did he die? He must have died a few minutes before that, before that line started to crawl up there and, and, and hit a peak. Right? People are searching for Steve Jobs. Why? Because the news just came out that Steve Jobs died. So what's a query? A query is a question. And every time you type into Google, think about it as asking a question. And immediately that should tell you that the kind of questions that you ask, you may think are generally pretty simple. You know, I'm only at the question I ask is words. Three words in a row. That's a question. Isn't there more, aren't there more specific questions I can ask? And the answer is definitively yes. The way that most people search is really very simple. It's that simple one box where you just type a bunch of words and hope for the best. Well, what I'm going to tell you now is all the other stuff behind querying, all the stuff that makes it so that um, the questions that you can ask are far more sophisticated than, one, than the ones that people usually ask. And at the end of this lecture, you should be ready to go out and be a total Google power searcher and be able to do Google searches that nobody else knows how to do. And they're all right there in front of your face. So they're, they're not hard at all. It's just a matter of paying attention and not being so lazy as to just type into that one box. Now, of course, I'm as lazy as everybody else. I don't do Google power searches nearly as much as I could, but when I do, I always get much better results. Okay, so let's start with this thing called the, the Google Query Builder. It's under Advanced Search. If you go to the Google page and you look around real carefully, you'll see a little link that says Advanced Search. If you click that Advanced Search, uh, that Advanced Search link, you'll go to a page like this, and instead of having a single box, you got a whole page full of stuff that you could use to format your question, to format your query. So let's go through, this is the summary, this is all the possible different things that you could do, but let's go through a few of the different operations, a few of the things that, um, that are possible.